Lampre Merida's 2015 Giro campaign has been one of success. In particular, stage five will have Pollens riding to victory on Merida's new offering, the Scultura. When Merida teamed up with Lampre in 2013, the Scultura was the general purpose road machine and their flagship bike. Its adoption in the pro ranks saw change to make a pure race spread machine. With our initial generation, we had to realize that the geometry, which was designed for enthusiast hobby cyclists, but not dedicated to pro cycling, uh, was a bit too, too gentle to the riders. Actually, the pros uh, were asking for lower cockpits for more stretched positions. And therefore, most of them used finally the next smaller frame size. So they went down with a frame size to get a shorter head tube length. But that means as well that the head tube length was uh, quite short. They had to go with minus uh, degrees stem angles, like minus 17 degree. Had to use a large 140 or 150 millimeter stems. And uh, the center of gravity, of course, wasn't influenced in a positive way. These demands sought out by Lampre Merida's top climbers saw the evolution of the Scultura into a pure climbing bike, keeping the stiffness and the comfort, but improving geometry and essential aerodynamics all ensuring that the weight stays low in the right areas to suit its purest climbs. If you're now just able to squeeze the weight for 70 grams at the frame and potentially nothing at the fork. Where's the improvement? When we talk about carbon uh, frame development and carbon frame manufacturing, now we have a situation that weight-wise, no big space. At our new Scultura we have wall thicknesses which are already at 0.3 mm. That's about uh, three or four sheets of paper, super thin wall. Less uh, wall thickness is simply not possible because otherwise the product will become too, too uh, sensitive against uh, punctural damages. The UCI's minimum bike race weight of 6.8 kilos has not stopped manufacturers' pursuit of producing the lightest possible frames. My personal conviction is that uh, roughly 800 grams offers the best, let's say, the kind of golden cut, the best level of average performances, because you can achieve super stiffnesses, arrive at a fantastic comfort. You can get a product which is still durable enough even for poor cycling uh, demands. So with, a, let's say, 800 grams, you get the best package in total performance. But on the technical way of manufacturing, today it's possible to even undergo 700 grams. Simulation and testing in the design process means there's no compromise on frame strength in pursuit of the ultimate. If you really take a look to the performance, you can say uh, every 10 grams below 800 grams frame weight, you lose potentially 5 to 10 percent performances. That means uh, 50 grams less means 20 percent less head tube stiffness, button bracket stiffness. A frame like like the new Scultura, contains more than 400 pieces of uh, pre-packed carbon material. Of course, a lot of different uh, types of fibers. Most of them are unidirectional, but they are unidirectional straight, they are unidirectional 45 degrees. We have some 3K areas, uh, which is more durable for uh, surface pressure or surface damages, like used, for example, inside the dropouts at connection areas. We have as well flex fibers, that's uh, a biological fiber which has very low, uh, slow motion movement. Actually the strength of this fiber is very, very low, but it's just used in some certain areas of the frame like seat stays, center of uh, chain stays and the fork blades, because this small, this slow, slow motion movement uh, offers some noticeable vibration damping. In a competitive race for the lightest production frame, Merida now claims to have the edge over its competitors, weighing in at 4.5 kilos. It's a good thing if you start a project, you always have benchmark products. You always can analysis their uh, good and weak points. Every product has some weak points. And uh, if you are the later one, you have still the opportunity to work on this uh, kind of uh, small trouble zones and you have to try to make your product slightly better. It will happen again that uh, one year later another company 
we'll take our product as benchmark and it's working on, it's a never ending story. So for like that frame, I would say Skultura will be the current benchmark, but it's still a noticeable gap to a, a real aero frame. And therefore the racers have to decide what's important for them.